The sounds of tinnitus differ among the more than 45 million Americans who have it. My tinnitus sounds like a high-pitched screech. My tinnitus is a full orchestra. My tinnitus sounds like picture yourself in a forest and it's very quiet at night and all you hear is the crickets, that solid sound, no break. Mine is a little bit higher but not as loud. My tinnitus makes me feel like I have a disability that's quote an invisible disability and that no one understands it. Uh, my tinnitus sounds like constant. As a hearing care professional, it can be difficult to know where to begin. The first step is to understand what tinnitus is and how dialogue and assessment can help. Hi, my name is Clement Sanchez. I'm an audiologist and product manager for Medicine Astera 2 Audiometer at Autometrix. I'm here to tell you about the benefits of conducting a tinnitus assessment for your tinnitus patients. A tinnitus assessment can help you with the diagnostic and treatment selection and it can strengthen the relationship you have with your patients. Let me explain by showing you six ways of tinnitus assessment can help you and your patients. Select treatment. A tinnitus assessment makes it easier to categorize the tinnitus and select treatment. Patients can react very differently when listening to the same acoustical stimulus. A tinnitus assessment helps to find out what treatment works best. Establish a reference point. A tinnitus assessment provides a common reference point. This helps you to monitor changes in the tinnitus and treatment's efficacy. Determine treatment guidelines. With a tinnitus assessment, you can measure the maskability or the pitch matching. This helps to set the level and spectrum of the stimulus used in the sound therapy. But a tinnitus assessment can also help strengthen the relationship between you and your patient. Improve communication. A tinnitus assessment gives an objective picture of the tinnitus and it gives you and the patient a way to talk about the symptoms. Reassure and counsel. Tinnitus makes many patients feel insecure because the people around them cannot hear the sound that they hear. Measuring the tinnitus shows them that it's real and the assessment helps to increase understanding and empathy between your patient and family members. Finally, legal documentation. When necessary, a tinnitus assessment can serve as legal documentation. It provides validation for the presence of the tinnitus, the degree of impairment, disability, and or handicap. If it's not curable, make it, give us things that treat it. Give us options, figure out what works the best. Open your door to tinnitus. The first step towards better tinnitus management.